this is Stampy and welcome to the Magic Animal Club podcast with Stampy and another Stampy by the looks of things. If you're seeing the video podcast, oh. <laughs> you'll see that we're doing battle mini game again this week and Squid's decided to look like his hero. Oh, Steve, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Is that is that right? Am I right now? There we there go. We you're back to being Squid. Yeah, because I don't know if people knew this, but in the... um. Straight into this, by the way. In the uh, the battle mini game update, they added battle mini game, but they also made some other changes to the game, like the way you change skins, different, and even to like uh, survival mode. They actually made a few little like hidden additions, which was very sneaky of them. Oh no! I've just joined the game and um, my hood's off, so I've got no hands. <laughs> um, Good luck! You so won't know what you have. So when me and Stamps thumbnails, <laughs> we always turn like the hands off and stuff like that, so it's like you know a perfect picture. Um, but yeah, this isn't really helping me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be challenging. So yeah, uh, people really enjoyed last week us doing the, the battle mini game. So uh, we're not going to be doing this forever. We will be going back to the other world. And I don't know, possibly doing other games in the, the future. But seeing as this is still uh, pretty new and uh, people enjoyed it so much last week, we thought, why not do it? And we just wanted to play a bit. You know, this is like our our easy play time as well, which we don't get <laughs> to do too much. So uh, that's kind of the, uh, the other reason. We've played for a long time time in that other world so it's it's a nice kind of way just to kind of you know just play because we don't normally play a lot nowadays me and Stamps. It's, it's a nice little uh, way of us getting together and uh, playing minecraft as well having, having we haven't a actually play played day. hunger games like on pc for a long time either so this is well, I actually, I actually enjoy this a lot more than most um, most PC Hunger Games for some reason. And I don't know really? why. I don't know if it's... I, I like not having an inventory. Like, I love that there's less, like, organizing your inventory. I love how quick it is. I love using yeah. the, the analog sticks as well and the controller. So I don't know if it's all of those things. It's also just so quick. Like, I fin I finish recording, like, a lovely world video. And then I'll back up the game and I'll just see mini game on the menu. And I'll be like... Oh, I can have one game, uh, you know, which <laughs> usually turns into three, four, five games. But like, it's just so quick just to to jump in without, you know, like if you're, if you're playing on PC, you, you know, you go into like the main hub, you go to the Hunger Games bit. Then if you're playing with other people, you're like slash party invite slash game invite. Make You know, it's just all of this hassle. And with this, we yeah. just load it up. You know, my game's joinable, jump in and we just play it. Like they've just streamlined everything. And I, I really like that. Yeah, um, I think they're also actually doing a lot more um, sort of like user-friendly menus as well now in the PC mode because they've actually added auto jump, which is really, really, really weird. So when you're like walking up to a certain block, you just don't press anything. It just like carries on jumping up and yeah. I didn't really like go. that though because some because the reason is is because they're that's something that's in the the pocket edition, and I think they're trying to make all of the additions closer. So they, they brought that forward. But I think it's weird having it on by default. It's, it's just because there's so many times when, you know, I'll go to look in a chest and I'll suddenly jump on top of it. I'm like, whoa, what's what's going on? So, <laughs> like, I think that sometimes they can take it too far. But as long as they give you an option to turn it off, then, you know, do what you want. It's like when... um. You remember in the console, they added the thing where you just always started sprinting. Like, if you pressed forward and forward again, even with, uh, like, a gap yeah. between them, you'd start sprinting. So that was awful. And so they got rid of it. But they've now brought it back. But it's just a um, it's just an option now in the, the menu. You can turn it uh, on or, or off. So it's kind of like the best of both. You know, if you like it, then you got it. If you don't like it, yeah. then it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, you don't have to, to, to use it. Yeah. I mean, one of the things that I really love about the Xbox is... The kind of like the combat now, because they updated the the PC to kind of like you know you have to time your swings and you can't really spam it. I don't know. I kind of really like spamming. I always thought that you know I hated it when I was playing on the PC. Like oh he's just killed me because he's been spamming his swing over and over again. But to be honest, I do it a lot. And when you get ta when that ability gets taken away that you can't spam your swings anymore, it's really hard. And you, and you know you don't really seem to win that many battles. So. I like it. I like the spammy swing it. I'm glad that it's staying on the Xbox. Well, I, I like hope it is spam. anyway. <laughs> I love spam. <laughs> I like I do. a good bit of spam on <laughs> my shield. A bit of spam <laughs> in my Minecraft. Minecraft <laughs> and spam. My, <laughs> my two <laughs> favourite things. Go together like peas in a pod. <laughs> 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 anyway, we kind of jumped straight into to kind of talking into about video spam, games yeah. and and to talk about spam as we so often do uh, in the uh, the podcast but how have you been it's been spam. um it's actually not been as long as of a, a break from us talking to each other as usual because uh, we recorded the the last podcast a little bit late so i'm assuming that you haven't gone to the moon or anything since the last podcast but has uh, <laughs> have you been up to, to any exciting mass. adventures 
Um, I had um had a few bad couple of people around this weekend. I had like Ash, Ash and James came over. Um, and we just chilled out for a bit because obviously they live quite locally to me. Um, and it's just something that you don't really do on YouTube. Like like you know, I might see stamps a couple times a year. So a lot of people think that like YouTubers see each other quite a lot. Like you know, I'll get comments on YouTube saying, "Oh, Squid, we go tell Stampy this and go tell Stampy that." It's like I don't you know I don't live with him. I you Who's know, asking I'm, you I'm, to I'm, do that? Well, like, like, like I've had a middle man. <laughs> like, Tell him his this... dinner's ready. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing um uh, on the Vive, and there was a comment saying, "Squid, are you using Dan's Vive?" I was like, "No, like this is my own Vive." Like, why would <laughs> the I... YouTubers why would... Vive? We all just why share would... <laughs> it. It's my weekend with the Vive. <laughs> can, I, can I come over and use your Vive, please, Dan? <laughs> 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 but yeah, so a lot of YouTubers. Um, you know, don't really, you know, live together or see each other very often. So, yeah, but it's a really weird world, though, isn't it? Because we're all kind of, you know, see each other pretty much, you know, nearly nearly daily, like online, you know, a couple of days. But, you know, you don't really see each other in person that much. So, it's a, it's well, a really I think weird... that's the same with kind of a lot of just friendships in general. Now, I don't think like YouTubers but are like an exception. But it's not if you think exception. about it with like jobs. Because if you think about it, this is a job. So, if you're going to, if you're like working with someone, like you normally expect to be sort of, you know, in the same building or in the same room or something like that. And I think a lot of a lot of the audience, you know, think that, that a lot of people do collaborations with that we're actually, you know, in the same room together, which it rarely, you know, ever is like that. But, I mean, so... we're not, like, necessarily colleagues. We just do the same. You know, like, people don't think that all actors live in the actor's house and all live together, do they? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That'd be fun, though. That'd be really fun. <laughs> that would like be fun. Big Imagine, house. like, everyone had, like, shared housing per, like, occupation. You know, like, all of the builders live together and all of the people that work in retail <laughs> live in the retail. I like Big Brother, but just everyone's jobs. Everyone has to live together. Oh, God, what, what would be the worst house to live in? Um. Oh, dear. Probably, like... I think like pop stars or something, pop stars or rappers People or something. With big I feel egos. like that would be a tough house to 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 live in and get on with everyone. Like <laughs> yeah, anywhere where definitely. there's like really strong personality, or maybe like sewer workers. <laughs> that might yeah, be I was a... gonna say like garbage <laughs> workers. Come on, they'd have to have really good day. showers in so, <laughs> in in that house. <laughs> or like maybe sort of like uh, I don't know, like pet lovers. Because with pet lovers, it's okay. If I mean, that's not really a job, is it? It's not a job, it's an occupation. <laughs> I love pets. That's my job. <laughs> maybe, maybe a vet's, I guess. Maybe like, a... yeah, like vets or like dog walkers or something like that. Like, it's okay if you have one person doing it, but if you have like a whole, you know, like a whole organization doing it or whatever, that'd be mad. That'd be absolutely <laughs> mad. Uh, anyway, oh, what's supposed man. to be going on? What's new with your, your channel? Oh, have you done your homework? Do you remember your homework? Yeah, I did, um, I've, I've been, like, doing bits and bats, so I believe the homework was you have to do something completely different, so... That's right. I've been doing it a little bit on the, the second channel, um, like, every sort of episode that I recorded with the Vive, I'd completely make new graphics, uh, and I'd film it in a different sort of, like, place. If that makes sense, so like the webcam. You, need, you needed already... like a new, a new style, a new style of video. Yeah, so I've and I've done it on the main channel as well. Like I've completely changed like the layout of my webcam, so that's completely changed. Like a lot of people didn't really like like it, but I did it. I've changed bits, changed bits and bats. So that's on two channels. I've cha I've changed two things. So I thought that was pretty good for my homework. Since people on YouTube hate change, <laughs> I was pretty bold. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you saw me. Knows, so as soon as you change anything, everybody goes mental. Like, it could be the slightest thing, and you don't even think it's relevant until you change it. And then you know that it's, uh, you know, that it's actually a relevant thing. But yeah, go on, what were you saying? Well, no, I was going to say, because you tweeted me yesterday, because I tweeted out about kind of the same thing about whenever you do something different, I kind of just said about how interesting it is to see the the reaction to it. Whenever you do kind of something slightly different to, to what you normally do, because I, I uploaded a, another Stampy short, which is basically just a short video yeah, in I Minecraft. Yeah, I thought you uploaded a new game or something like that, because, you know, I, I didn't think people would be that bothered about you know, because it's still Minecraft, if you know what I mean. I thought I thought you did like like Hail or something like that. Because when I saw the tweet, I was like, oh, what's he done? So I didn't think people <laughs> had got that mental over like a, a <laughs> well, stumpy it wasn't shot. Like, oh, people like hated it or anything. It's just yeah. like a lot of people are just confused. People are like, because it's basically just a short video, nothing to do with me. It's basically called The Life of a Piece of Dirt. And it's like 
voiceover with a piece of dirt speaking saying about what it's like like to be a piece of dirt you know and it's it's not me doing the voiceover it's uh, my friend mini muka another youtuber and it, you know it's just completely different to any of my other series and so it's just a lot of people like what is you know they just they just don't know what to think they're like this this isn't what i've come to expect at this time you know on sunday from stampy's <laughs> channel so it's really interesting to see a lot of people like it a lot of people don't like it like i think a lot of people kind of didn't get the humor like so many of the comments were talking about dirt in minecraft and i, I don't think they realized that you know the video was about a piece of dirt but you know it really wasn't about a piece of dirt like that wasn't like the theme or the meaning you know that was just yeah the subject i, I you know i i guess so like it's you know like i love doing stuff like that but is i just you know more than so than ever like i read every single comment you know yesterday that people commented on it just to, to see what it was that they were they were talking about <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, if you like it, if you like doing something different, you should, I guess you should, you know, do more of it. And I mean, from a viewer's perspective as well, people love to see, like, different things. I guess it's, like, more exciting coming to your channel and seeing something, you know, brand new. Like, you know, what's this? Oh, I must click on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and yeah. I think the thing is, people are so used to, and I think especially for me, like, everything kind of being part of a series or kind of, a long running thing because the whole idea of the stampy shorts is they're they're kind of one-offs unrelated to anything else you know they're not related to each other not related to any of my other videos so people are like oh you're gonna do like life of cobblestone next and, and stuff and like the whole idea is kind of each thing is a completely you know its own thing and the one i'm planning i don't know if i'm gonna do it next but i'm planning a love story one a straight up no comedy love story i want to see if i can do that in a console <laughs> machine of her because i don't know if i don't know if it'll work or not you know it might be cringy it might be horrible whatever i'm just gonna uh, i just found a song that i really liked and i wanted to use it in a in a video so that's gonna be a, a very you know i'm calling it now that's gonna be have a very mixed <laughs> reaction uh, i think so that, that's gonna be a, an interesting one to, to read it'll the, definitely the be an eye for. open a minute <laughs> it, it will be but it's fun it's, it's, it's just interesting doing those uh those kind of different things also um on the the podcast i mentioned about me uh starting to upload some behind the scenes videos and the the first one of them uh went up this week as well kind of talking about how um like i planned one of my my most recent mini games and that got a hugely positive response i think it actually got more views than the lovely world video where I played the <laughs> mini game. <laughs> like people loved it. People really, because that was the one I was thinking like, oh, are some people going to be complaining saying, oh, Lovely World's too planned because I kind of showed you the world where I plan everything or I thought people might think it's it's boring because it was me building a mini game and changing it and altering it. But people really enjoyed it and seemed really hungry for more. So it kind of got me thinking of, maybe that kind of video is a better format than, than kind of what I'm doing for, for most of my normal videos. It kind of just got me got me thinking a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, you put so much like thought into that kind of series, and the main part of it is actually in the planning. Then I guess it kind of makes sense to to film it as well. Like, you know, if it's you're actually spending more work doing that, so you know, why not? Why not film it's, it? Yeah, I guess it's kind of like a main. The main part of the video is kind of lost because it is all behind the scenes yeah. stuff. So yeah, something I'm going to look into. Like maybe there's like some sort of series, you know, on my main channel that I could do, which isn't me planning behind the scenes of Lovely Well, but kind of something, something in that vein. I don't know. Could could yeah. be could be something quite interesting. Yeah, as I said, more like a lot of people, you know, they they see how you're building it in video, but it, it's good to kind of because you've done so many of them as well. Like it's good to kind of see what your thought process is behind it all do you know what i mean like it is it's quite different on youtube because there's not a lot many you know people doing that there's people playing games but if you're gonna you know if you're gonna create all this stuff then you might as well you know film it <laughs> yeah so so yeah may, maybe there'll be more in the future so i have a, a couple more videos i've recorded where i'm basically showing my what i call my sketchbook world my behind the scenes world i know you've seen it a lot squid so uh yeah i'm gonna see what people kind of think that's kind of showing kind of previously built things and kind of showing what they could have been because i think that especially for for long-term fans of my lovely world it might be interesting that you know they might have seen a mini game that i've been playing for years and i can show them well it actually started off like this and then i completely changed it you know so it'd be interesting to see whether people like that or whether they're they're kind of more just interested in in when i'm kind of setting up and planning these videos yeah oh, nice i'm sorry i can't concentrate right now i'm just about to kill stamps <laughs> <laughs> you're about to try squid you're about to try you're about to fail <laughs> stop throwing oh. things at me <laughs> i have i have 
Oh. oh, this is where we completely was... ignore the podcast format. Let's just do I a let's play. I was on top of that little temple for like the whole game, and then I saw someone die, so I went down to pick all the stuff up. <laughs> so I had like no stuff that entire game. <laughs> oh, Actually, let, let's bring back to, to battle mode a little bit then. We did talk about it a bit earlier, but it's been out for a little while. So, uh, what's your what's your kind of review on it? I know you haven't played it as much as uh, as I have. Um. Yeah, I mean, I really like it. It's really good. It's, it seems to be doing really well with the connection. There's no sort of issues, which was always kind of like a, a big factor in my eyes, was the whole, you know, how well is it going to play? Like, the maps might be good, but if, if the connection, if they don't sort the connectivity issue out, then it's just going to be completely rubbish. But it seems to be really good. It seems to be really smooth. Uh, the chess seem to be really fun, the way that it's kind of, you know, like uh, user-friendly in the sense that you don't have to choose what you have in your inventory as much, and you can just kind of pick up and run over stuff. Um, but yeah, it's really good. I'm hoping that they're going to start bringing out some bigger maps, just maybe a little bit bigger, and some maybe so, some bigger sort of battles, because I think the max is eight players now. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping they're going to they're gonna kind of make that larger as time goes on. But it's really good. It's really, really good. Um, the video seemed to go down quite well on it as well, so... Yeah, yeah, people really like... I mean, that's why we're kind of doing it again here, because people love watching it. I also... I don't know if you saw us going on about it on Twitter, but we had a... um, There was like a, a YouTuber versus 4J Studio showdown, where okay. basically 4J Studios um, challenged uh, me and some other YouTubers to like a 4v4. So it was a... Uh, Bigby Stats, me, uh, IBX Toy Cat, and Echo Soldier against um, four of the the people that like from the art team. People that like I went as two people from the art team and two people from like the the normal development. I don't know the <laughs> the terms <laughs> programming. There we go. That's the word. So yeah, having a a four v four and it was good. So I didn't um record it, but it's on um uh, I think Bigby Stats uploaded it and we destroyed them. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think one of us only died in the entire games, and that was when Big B team killed them by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because because obviously we did the the building time against them, and they destroyed yeah. us. You know, and, and yeah. I didn't know how good they'd be at this. Of course, the, it had only just come out, so they knew that the maps better and stuff. But obviously, it's hard to know how much they're actually playing the game. But um, it was good fun, and then we kind of just did like a, a free for all game afterwards, and I uploaded that because I was happy because I won won that one. But um, I kind of got talking to them and uh, kind of gave some um, some feedback for for battle mode and some of the the balancing stuff, and kind of uh, sent them kind of a list of some changes that I'd like to see, and they seem to to like it. So uh, th there's a bit, I think there's a bit of a problem at the moment, and I was kind of talking to Squid a bit about it before we started about how the middle chests kind of keep replenishing items where not all of the other chests do and so kind of whoever just controls the middle of the the map at the start pretty much always wins because they have way better stuff and uh, so hopefully they're going to kind of change that just because the problem is so much of the fights only happen in the middle of the map now that it yeah. kind of it can, it can get a bit repetitive i guess is the the problem yeah but maybe they did it as well just to try and draw people you know to the center of the map so you know, people yeah, I, are I, just wandering around. I think they totally did, but the problem is I think they replenish because they, they start getting refilled almost immediately as soon as the game starts. You know, pretty much as soon ah, as the okay. grace period's over. So if you get, like, a good sword at the beginning, you can just stay in the middle. And then just, if anyone tries to come at you, you can kill them, but then you can keep getting better stuff. Like, what I kind of suggested to them, and I have no idea if they're going to do this, is maybe, like, when it does the showdown, then, like, the middle chest refill then to bring people in. Yeah. But because the rounds are pretty short anyway, so I think that that might be a a, a nicer way to to balance it. I think. Yeah, possibly. Um, but it's fun. It's fun. It's really fun. I think the four J guys should stick to building though. <laughs> By the sounds <laughs> yeah, of it, yeah. this should 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 stay where they belong and keep building some new maps. <laughs> yeah, and then they got they got some some more mini games coming in the uh, the future as well, which is going to be um interesting to see kind of what what oh, ends okay. up coming after this so yeah this is so the battle mini game is just the first mini game that they're they're releasing you know they're, they're going to be doing yeah. a bunch of other things i've said to them i'd love to see walls i don't know if that would be possible on console because i think falling sand and gravel would just completely lag the game but i'd love to to be able to to play some console version of of walls on on this i think would be amazing like what would you like what what do you think would work well on, on console and what would you like to to see um quite hard i don't really know i'm trying to hmm. 
As, because as I, I guess you know something like the like that Mario was, Kart thing like wouldn't work. Was, <laughs> no, but I mean something probably like um, hmm, probably like Spleef. Spleef would probably work quite well. I reckon that'd be quite a fun little uh, easy game to do and to to set up. You could you know start in the same way as Hunger Games on your pads and spawn with a shovel. Um, and yeah, that could be a really quick sort of easy mini game. Um, another one that's quite popular on the PC is, I think it's, T is it TNT run? So pretty much what you do is you run over pressure plates that are on like TNT or grand or, uh, grass or, not grass, uh, sand or gravel. Uh, and then when you run, basically what happens is the blocks fall behind you. So you can't go over that same path again. So what that does, it basically, you know, you have to try and... Uh, beat other players by running over their blocks or just staying alive on other blocks that are available at the time. So that's kind of a, a fun game to do. Um, but yeah, again, again, just kind of following the suit of, of quick games, you know, really intense, not drawing them out too much, not having big maps. I think that's kind of the most successful way to do it. And it's obviously, you know, worked really well with uh, the battle mode. So probably something like that. I think some sort of like build off as well would work really well, like some sort of uh, build like battle build type thing, like where you kind of all vote for each other's. I think that could uh, be uh, quite a good one. Like if, if they're able to add some sort of voting system, because I was amazed at like how many kind of like new menus and stuff already, you know, the fact that you can vote for maps and kind of the spectator cam and stuff like, you know, it, it does feel like this is a, a whole new mode, you know, it feels like they're survival, creative, and now battle. So it looks like they're they're willing to kind of add and change quite a lot of, of things to, to do with the, the game for for these. Yeah, it feels like they really stepped up as well. Like it all, it's all very polished, like the menus. I really like the way they've done it all. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see what's going to be in the future. So did they give you any sort of idea of what's going to be in the future? Or is it kind of just like, yeah, we're going to do some stuff, but we're well, not no, going to tell you. Like, like, like <laughs> this is just, they, they just tweeted out asking for suggestions for, for future ah, mini okay. games. Yeah, so like, yeah, I I don't have any any insider intel about um kind of <laughs> what the the mini games are, are going to be. But yeah, the, this is. I mean, you can kind of even just tell by the the menu that it just kind of says that you know it just says the mini game menu and then you select battle. You know, there's there's room for for other things to to <laughs> to kind of be in those <laughs> in those spaces, which is uh, exciting. <laughs> yeah, um, probably parkour. I'd like to see as well. We didn't mention that, but I think parkour would be really fun. Yeah, maybe like some sort of like speed run thing, like time trial, like race, maybe race mini game. That could yeah, work that pretty could well. Yeah, that could be really good. Yeah. Uh, I'm dying again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so hard to not talk about the it's game. It's hard to commentate while you just get <laughs> annihilated. It was like I, after we recorded the last podcast, me and Stamps played this, and it was just so good because we could commentate on what was actually happening rather than us not being able to do it. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe we won't keep playing battle mini game during this podcast. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of it's kind of fun, but I just feel sorry for the um, the audio listeners. Oh yeah, just to talk about that. Uh, sorry, I've been slow uploading stuff to to SoundCloud. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna get on that. So at the at the moment, I'm we're really behind for uploading the audio only version. All my fault. Okay. I, I'll, I'll get them online. I just I just keep forgetting. I, just, <laughs> I mean, you should just watch the uh, the video one. They're better anyway. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. I mean, I mean, they're here. They're here on the the video one anyway. So, like, I mean, you, you can have it and minimize it. It's more for if people are watching on the road. I guess that's kind of where the audio version is good. So, yep, yeah, we've not neglected that. My bad. Slap on the poor. I'll get it sorted. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I went to the um, I went to the cinema over the weekend. Squid Nugget. Oh, I what did. did. I saw a film. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, I saw the um, the Secret Life of Pets. Oh, you saw the one that I've seen it too. Oh, we can, we talk, can talk about, about it. Right. <laughs> um, no, we're not going to do any spoilers in case you um, haven't seen it yet. Uh, I mean, we're, we're going to talk about what we think of the film and there might be some brief mentions, but, you know, we're not going to tell you at the ending about when the character died. Only joking, only joking. No one dies. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, well, do, do you want to go first? So, so when did you see it? Did you see it over the weekend or uh, did you see it I saw earlier? it when it first came out. Um, I can't even remember when that was, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it was it was really good. It was it was really really good, but I didn't enjoy it as much as like the Zootropolis and stuff like that and the Zootopia. I felt like I kind of felt like the the story, like the the trailer, was kind of like all the funny bits crammed together, like the stereo stereotypical thing what people think of the pets. I thought that was really good, but I, f I didn't really think that the the story was that kind of like 
it kind of gripped people's, you know, full attention. Like, I don't know. Like, I, the trailer I, I it, I, made it I out. I put it like a, a 5 out of 10 on Twitter. I kind of slitted it a little bit. 5 I really out like of Kevin 10. Hart. That's pretty... That's pretty low. Mm-hmm. It wasn't... <laughs> I, I didn't really, like, <laughs> rate it that good. Um, yeah, 5 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought Kevin Hart as the bunny. I thought he was really amazing. But, yeah, I'd, I mean... I guess it's kind of because I think... I'm an adult. I didn't. I mean, if I was a kid, I don't really know how I'd feel about it. Hey, but... Squid. We all know your age, but come on, stop <laughs> pretending you're all grown up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I think I'm in agreement with you. Like, so, so what I kind of said to to Squishy, like straight after watching it, is I think it was a funny film, but I feel like the entire plot and all of the characters were only set up for the jokes. Like, I feel like when they were making the characters. They were just thinking of the jokes rather than making characters that you're really going to to get attached to. And like there was yeah. whole scenes, like there's a whole scene, there's a scene, slight spoiler alert, not really. They go to a sausage factory, okay, in it, and there's like kind of like a dream sequence with a like with a load of sausages in it. And like for first thing, I just thought like they wanted me to find that much funnier than I did. Like I giggled at first, then it went on way too long and kind of it's like that whole scene, like didn't lead to anything it was it was just like pointless if they cut that that scene out of the the film it wouldn't affect the plot in any way like the whole thing was there for just the joke which you might think oh fair enough it's trying to be funny but in most films scenes are always to kind of like develop the characters or you know push forward the plot you know but i felt like a lot of the um a lot of the film was just setting up for a joke, and it kind of had no emotional attachment uh, because of that. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the reason why I kind of, you know, gave it such a low rating. Like, I didn't really think the story was that good, to be honest. Um, but did you see? Did you, have you seen um, Angry Birds? No, I've not. I've not seen that. <gasps> Oh man! Now that is a film. That is a film. I <laughs> honestly, honestly. How many? Right? How many okay. out of ten? Go and put you put your put your mouth in the cup and tell me how many out of ten. <laughs> At least nine. No, Squid, you got to do it like this. Nine out of ten. That's what you did last. Time. Okay, one minute. <laughs> the what cup review. <laughs> <laughs> the echo rating is. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing because me and Nicole was like, okay, we're going to watch Angry Birds. We went in with like no expectations because I thought, oh, you know, it's a film from an app. You know, it's probably going to be really rubbish. Mate, okay, you need to go and watch it. It is so funny. It's the funniest like film I've probably seen this year. I even put it higher than like Avengers. What? Well, I mean, I don't yeah. really care about Avengers, but I know you like those films. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly. Like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna if I'm gonna give you a film to watch, that is the film. Okay, honestly. well I'll, I'll, I'll watch That's it. I guess homework. we can talk about it uh probably a bit more next week if I see it in between then. But like was it was it just because oh it was funnier? Like to compare it to The Secret Life of Pets, which might be a bit of an unfair comparison because they're very different films, but is it just oh it's way funnier or is there, you know, are the characters memorable and likable? Yeah, the characters are definitely definitely re- uh, rememberable, rememberable, memorable. <laughs> but also the way it tells the story, it gives a really good. You get really like attached to the characters in such a um, a small space of time. Like Red's the main character, um, and he has anger management issues. Um, but you know, it's it's like. 15 minutes in and, and it's still like following his everyday life like it, things that annoy him he's going to like anger management classes with all these other guys um but it kind of it kind of builds on you know what i mean like you know what's gonna happen like the pigs are gonna come and stuff like that but it's just like you know the, the voice acting the jokes it's just it's just a really good sort of you know package of a film it's really good good yeah. it sounds sounds interesting like, i kind of whenever it's a video game film I kind of probably unfairly kind of write it off because I've seen yeah, a lot of I did. video game films and I don't I don't think I've seen a, I don't think I've seen a film based on a video game I like. Can you can you think of a good one? Well, I f- well, Angry Birds. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. well, obviously Angry Birds, you, you know, you're said but like before that, can you think of a good film based on a on a video game? Film based on video games. Um You know what? While you're doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Google because I need to have a long because, list. Because so Prince Prince of Persia was one of the ones that 
did like was successful and then now um warcraft is now the the most successful video game film but both films have been pretty panned by critics i've seen prince of persia i didn't like it i've not seen warcraft i don't think i will but you know then there's like classic oh you know there's like mortal Kombat movies and then there's even a mario movie which is apparently one of like the worst films ever like there's, there's not <laughs> been mario very many movie. successful have you said it's like a live action one like What's just it? real, Can real I come people and fix your pipes and it is, it's awful. Broke. It's like nothing to do with Mario other than there's someone called Mario and someone called Lu- Luigi. It's ridiculous. And they're literally Italian plumbers. You know, it's it's it's, it's so a they crazy don't princess thing Peach. that that it, it exists. I've not, I've not seen it. I've just seen like clips and like you know videos making fun of it and like top ten worst video game movies. So like, uh, like <laughs> I don't I don't know what if there's been, been a good one. Pixels was kind of like Pac Man, wasn't it? Yeah, that but was Pixels like a... was awful. <laughs> this yeah, is, this is now being the what argument. About Ralph. Wreck it Ralph. Oh, well, I mean, think that that's not a film based on a video games. A video game, is it? That's it's got video game culture, but it's not like Pac-Man the movie. That's the thing. You know, you know they're making a Tetris movie. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, I did actually. They're straight up making a Tetris movie and I just lagged and died. But yeah, so I don't, <laughs> I don't I've no idea what they're <laughs> they're, they're going to do with with that. So, I don't know. Like what, what what game do you think hasn't got a movie but would make a really good movie? Um probably oh, this is a hard one. I think probably something like Far Cry. I think Far Cry would be amazing. But actually, Assassin's there is Creed's one. coming out. There, there is a Far Cry movie. Oh, is there? Yeah, there's lots of there's lots of like like films uh, games that you wouldn't expect to have a movie that have one. I don't know if it's any good. I doubt it because I've I think I'd have probably seen it <laughs> if it was good. What about Assassin's Creed being is being made into a movie? I, I, that's that's probably going to be pretty good. Hopefully, I mean it's I mean Prince of Persia wasn't the worst thing in the world, and I think Assassin's Creed is just a more interesting concept with the whole you know real world look. You know it's very Matrixy, I guess. Kind of if you don't know how it works, you're basically going into something called an animus and kind of looking into your the history of your ancestors and stuff so i think that's a more interesting concept i think than prince of persia so yeah that that could be good like i'm not like writing them all off and saying you know they'll never be good i mean there is a a quite popular video game that we like that's uh got a, a movie coming out is it minecraft minecraft yeah warner brothers are, are making a, a minecraft film which uh which is gonna be which is gonna be interesting like yeah. I, don't, I don't know what what <laughs> what to think of it like i know that um mo yang are very me for steve by the way pardon they've picked me for steve by the way yeah is that any good um what do you mean no they picked me as the character for steve to play steve oh have we said there's a need for speed one <laughs> you're, you're playing steve in the minecraft film <laughs> I wonder if they'll have a Steve. I, I don't think they'll have a Steve. Like, I mean, the things with Minecraft, Minecraft is YouTuber. that I always loved it not having a story. Like, and I feel like story mode kind of took a bit of that away. And I feel like the film might take a bit, you know, it's kind of more of an open platform. But, you know, it worked with Lego and it's the same team that did the, uh, well, some of the same oh, people Lego. that did the Lego movie. Um, so that's kind of... It kind of fills me with a bit of hope. And because Mo Yang are so involved with it and Mo Yang is so you know, precious over Minecraft, as you'd expect they, they would be, that that yeah. that's what kind of makes me think that it might be okay. But just the idea of a live action Minecraft movie, I just can't, I just can't picture in my head what it will look like. As I don't, I don't understand how they can do... Pixely. Very pixely. But it's, like, very it's real blocky. life. It's real life actors. It's not an animation. Matt, if anything, it's going to be scary. Because if you think about it, Look at the mobs and think about them in like real life. Like you got a creeper that blows up. You got skeletons, so like literally skeletons. <laughs> You've got sp- massive spiders, like big tarantulas. You're gonna have floating ghasts. It's got to have the you know, Ender Dragon zombies. in it. They can't make a Minecraft film and not have the Ender Dragon in it. It's got the recipe to be. They just make awesome, it like the Hobbit. Just... <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be amazing. But obviously they can't make it too like gory and graphical because it's going to be like a you isn't it they're not going to make it like a, a, a you know like a, a 15 or whatever or oh, they might make it a 12 i reckon they might make it a 12 I'm, I'm really interested to see what they do so my fear is is that they're going to make it like um like video gaming like i don't want it to be i don't want them to ever mention minecraft the game i don't want it to be like i don't know like they somehow enter the game in some way or you know like it's 
I like I want it to be just Minecraft is the world and that is just you know kind of like what story mode is like the world is just Minecraft I would hate for it to be like I think that a lot of um people that don't play games much and they think about the success of video games they think we're here going oh I love the video game you know we're not thinking that we're just thinking I like Minecraft so I hope they don't which might sound weird make it too video gamey <laughs> If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, if they're gonna do it, they they should just completely just just look at the assets that they've got with Minecraft and kind of just base a film off. Yeah, know, just, just look what people thing. like about Minecraft and not focus on the video gameness of it too much. You know, and have just kind of neat references. And I think something that Story Mode did do well is kind of have references to to things people do in Minecraft and way they play. They kind of had like the the whole Sky Island thing and and, and stuff. So I think. If, if they can kind of do some of those things as well as story mode did and then have, you know, a compelling story as well, then it's got potential. I don't want her to write it off, but I am, you know, I'm very interested to see how it's going to, to, to end up. But I, th- I think it's not coming out for a while. Yeah, I don't think they've even started filming it yet. So we we got a while to wait by the looks of things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it would make a good game. Yeah. Skyrim. Skyrim is a game, Squid. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm it. sorry, you're a few years too late on this one, Squid. <laughs> <laughs> I foreseen the future. <laughs> a movie. Wow. Uh, well, I think that... The thing is, Skyrim is very, like, generic in terms of the, the, the creatures in it. You know, like, the goblins and the dwarfs and the dragons and stuff. Like, I feel like they're you know, Lord of the Rings and stuff kind of has that kind of covered already. Like, it's not like Mm. Skyrim has some amazing plot, you know. The fun thing about Skyrim is just the freedom of exploring the world. And I I don't know, that's something you can't do in a film. So I I don't don't know if Skyrim makes the the most immediate sense. I don't know, maybe. I mean, you pick one. Pick pick, pick a a game that you want to see in a film. Pick a game I'd like to see in a film. So uh, I really like the the Half-Life games. I think that that's uh, an interesting universe. I don't know how much you've played them, but I think that that is a that could make a pretty cool sci-fi film. Like they're very cinematic games already. Um, the thing is, a lot of the the lot of the games that would make a good film, I feel like would still be better as games. Because I think of games like uh, Uncharted. I was like, oh, they should make an Uncharted film. But I'm like, it would be just just like the game, but you wouldn't have control. You know, like I'd rather play the game. It's like the the Ratchet and Clank film which a lot of people didn't like. And there's and it was the exact same story as the game, but you just didn't have control. So the cutscenes were literally taken from the film. And I'm like, why would I watch the film when I can play the game? You know, so maybe <clears> that... Like, I feel like if there's a really good game with a really good story, maybe maybe it's just better as a game. You know, not everything has to, to kind of live didn't in another medium. did a lot of videos medium. get, like, copyright claimed because of the cutscenes? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people got like, I never experienced that, um, but Wizard King did. So he like acted out the cut scenes with puppets <laughs> because he couldn't <laughs> include them, which I thought probably made it actually more entertaining than <laughs> leaving them kind of in yeah, as the they, actual as cut they scenes. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, that's really weird though. I don't know why, I don't know why like game developers do that. You know, they release the game and then they realize that they made a mistake and they don't want anyone else to see it. It's like... <laughs> Well, no, it, it, it's because it was the film license, because the film, like, publisher was slightly different to the game, and so, because it was literally clips from the film, and so it was it was just the, the cutscenes with those bits in were getting taken down, not the gameplay. It was literally your... Okay. your si- and it's really weird, because it would look slightly different to the game. You know, only slightly different, but so you'd be playing the game, and then suddenly you just have, like a really well animated scene from a movie will play and then it kind of goes back to the the gameplay so it was a little bit jarring but it's an amazing game like i'm not putting the the game down the game's really good it just feels like the um the the film kind of the film half of this experiment didn't live up to the game half but you know what i played the game so i <laughs> i got the the film cut scenes and then i got to play the really good game so i kind of yeah you got a double whammy yeah i got the, <laughs> the best of both so what on your channel are you kind of most enjoying now like no that's just, i'll refer to this I'll, I'll say this differently what game over the minecraft are you most enjoying at the moment um, playing I, outside of youtube just like and you can't say battle mode <laughs> <laughs> um well so what one that i'm not recording does it yeah like one that you've just you know you've you've kind of kept to yourself and, and apart from halo because i mean, <laughs> love halo as well um, well, I've been playing Overwatch 
uh, a bit, but like not. Okay. I know I've been pretty busy lately. To be honest, I'm not really playing much. So I've, I've been playing Overwatch oh. a bit. Uh, I play Halo a little bit, but pretty much pretty much everything I'm playing, I'm playing on the the channel. So I'm still doing Yokai Watch. If you remember, <laughs> my yeah, speech. yeah, the little ghost that makes you do yeah. different stuff. Whoever you've got active. Oh, actually, have I you, did. Have, um... you got, have you got any new characters? <laughs> oh, oh well, I just got. The video's not uploaded yet, so spoiler, I just got Hungramps, which is the old man that makes you hungry, and I love Hungramps, so I was excited about that. <laughs> but actually, I have started playing a game recently, so I'm not playing it for the channel, but I'm playing it for research <laughs> for a future game. So I'm planning to play the uh, the new Pokemon when it comes out. Uh, I'm not okay. sure if it's going to be Sun or Moon, which one I pick, but yeah, the Sun or Moon uh, games. And uh, I realized because I kind of skipped some of the most recent Pokemon, so I'm going back just to kind of brush up on my Pokemon skills and to learn some of the ah. Pokemon I don't know about. So I've started watching on Netflix the uh, Pokemon X and Y series, the TV show, and then I've been playing Pokemon, I think it's Alpha Sapphire, I think it is, I'm um, playing. Right, so yeah, I've... that's the one before, isn't it before Root? Uh... Which one is it? X so, and Y? Yes, yeah, it's, it's after X and Y, but it's a remake of um, Sapphire and Ruby. So it's, it's basically right. a remake of an old game, but it's all, you know, 3D and it kind of looks like X and Y. So I've just started playing that. And uh, it's kind of nice because everyone has a go at me for comparing Yokai and Pokemon um, to each other because they're different, but they're pretty similar. So I feel like it's <laughs> it's it's the obvious comparison to, to make. And the conclusion I've come to, because I've literally been switching between watching Pokemon and Yokai and playing Pokemon and Yokai Watch, and I've realized that I think that Yokai Watch is a, a better TV show and Pokemon is a better video game. That's the that's my that's my <laughs> opinion. I'm sure there's plenty of people that disagree with me, which is fine. That's the fun thing about the world we live in. We can all disagree. But my opinion, for my personal preference, is that I enjoy playing the Pokemon game more, but I enjoy watching Yokai a lot more. Like I really enjoy Yokai and the the Pokemon X and Y TV show. It's not bad, but it's not it's not great <laughs> I, I don't think it's not it's not as funny yokai feels like a comedy and pokemon just I feels I, I don't know I like it's, it's just because it's like fresh though that like pokemon's been around since the 90s and they've had the tv show since the 90s like but you know, so but the game's the... been around since the 90s and i feel like the game is still more i mean it, i but feel like the just, game needs just better game makers then <laughs> Well, look, I mean, it's made by, I mean, it's level five game, level five games made the, the Yokai game and they're, you know, they're, they're a great developer. I just feel like the, the way that combat works in Pokemon and the way you level up and the way you capture Pokemon is good. I, the thing I don't like about Yokai is that you kind of, you don't control when you want to capture a Yokai. Just when you battle them, they might choose to be your, your friend, which is something similar to what they did in Nino Kuni. And I don't like that because you kind of, you don't have much control about when when you catch one. And there's things you can do, like if you give them food, there's more chance they will be friends of you. But I feel like I can't set out to capture them, you know, like it's... And, and there's yeah. a lot of just other slight differences. So I, I've enjoyed, enjoyed the Pokemon game more, but I just think that the the writing in the um, the, the TV show is just much wittier, I, I think. Um, it's, it's different because it's much like, there's references to pop culture and real life actors. And, you know, it's kind of set in the real world in Yoko. It's basically like a normal modern world sitcom, but then there's these invisible ghosts that only one person can see. And I think that just gives a lot more <laughs> options for humor and it can kind of stay relevant. You know, people have basically have iPads in it and stuff. So I, I think that Pokemon feels like it's really entertaining if you love Pokemon, but not yeah. very entertaining in in any other way, <laughs> really, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, there's just that sort of element going on for it and, and nothing else. Yeah, yeah. Apart from it being really fun. <laughs> I think that's fair. Don't have a go yeah. in the comments, like everyone, please. Like, I'm sure some people might agree. I'm sure some people don't. But this is just what, just from playing both the games and watching both the shows all at the same time, like they're all very much in my head and these are just my my thoughts at the, the moment. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to do like a Pokemon like Let's Play, but I'm just scared of Nintendo, like <laughs> just getting my videos is getting clipped or whatever. But I mean, it's only it's only they would take the the money from it. Like, it's not like they're going to yeah. give you a copyright strike. So I kind of oh, just that's like, fine, then. yeah, I'm like whatever. You know, like it doesn't like um, yeah, yeah. like I like Pokemon games. You know, I was probably going to play it anyway. Like, I enjoy playing a game more if I'm recording it <laughs> for some reason. Like the I yeah. 
it just feels like I'm playing it with other people and, you know, people can interact. So, you know, like it's not, it's not work, <laughs> you know, like it is my job, <laughs> but it's not, honestly, it's not work. Like I was going to play this game anyway, and I'd rather play it with, with all of you, you know, rather than by myself. So, you know, I'm going to play so it for whatever. the, um, for the DS. Cause I remember you saying that you record the, um, that game on the DS, don't you? And you yeah, have that, yeah. uh, the software, but you actually play it on the, on the other monitor, so it's actually in like full screen or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking at my that... computer screen while playing. Yeah, could you do that with like Pokemon then, like any game on the DS? I guess. Yeah, well, it's, it's just the 3DS. It's just you know all the menus and everything. It's just you're seeing the 3DS screens. Like basically the way the thing that I had done to the um the 3DS basically gives it a video output. So I can just plug it into something and then I can just record it off the, the screen. So, I mean, I play it looking off the screen, but sometimes if you need to do something touch screen, I have to, to look down, which is a bit of a, of a pain. And obviously it was designed to be on a very small screen and it's been completely blown up. So, you know, it looks a little bit blurry, <laughs> I guess, but, um, <laughs> I, you know, it, it's, it's still, it's fine. You know, it, it's still... You know, it, it looks fine. It's kind of how it is in the video. Yeah, and then yeah. when I, in the videos, I kind of do it like slightly split screen so you can kind of see both screens to, together. And yeah, like it, it's no hassle. Like in one of my videos, the sound didn't record and like I could hear the sound, but for some reason it didn't record. I have no idea why that was. It was probably something I did wrong. But yeah, so I lost audio in one episode. But apart from that, yeah, it's been it's been good. Nice. Cool. That's pretty awesome. I might actually do it then. <laughs> I might do the, the new Pokemon. Oh, we can battle. Channel. We can battle against each <laughs> other then. Yeah. Oh, we should do it. If we start, I what how we should it do take to like complete though. Like it, how many episodes would you, it'd be like the longest thing ever? <laughs> yeah, I know you don't kind of like doing as long series as me. We can just do them as you don't want to do on your second channel. Do them as extra videos. You know, maybe do like one every other day. You know, they'd be easy to to record. Yeah. And if we kind of synchronize when like how many videos we do, so we're kind of at similar levels. You could be and my then we can battle. Rival. Like yeah, you could be like could, my you could be my Gary. Oh, that would be so good. I'd love to be your Gary. (laughs) (laughs) We should, you know, like maybe like every like two months we have like a battle, kind of like the the rival battle. That would be so good. Yeah, we meet up and (laughs) that would be awesome. That would be amazing. Because they don't do, it's not, I wish they did like an online on the 3DS. They do, yeah, you do 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 sort of like, I know they do do an online, but I mean like in the world, in like an MMO, like a massive sort of, you know, everyone else is doing the same sort of stuff as you and you can see them, you know what I mean, like going about. It's pretty seamless to when you battle now. You can just say like search for people in the area and stuff. Like it's pretty it's pretty quick doing that stuff. Like, I mean, it would be cool if you just did see people wandering around. But the thing is yeah. they really need to balance it in terms of people's levels. Because obviously if someone's got way higher level Pokemon and you battle them, then it's just going to be rubbish. So I think they need to kind of group people together. And I think they might even do a thing where they kind of set everyone's Pokemon to the same level or something because otherwise it's not a game of skill. It's a game of who's played longer. Who's <laughs> yeah. played longest, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have to do that then. We'll have to like clock in, you know, maybe like the same amount of episodes. So we've, we've got like roughly uh, the same amount of time and then meet up for a battle. Yeah, I, I think that would be uh, good fun. <laughs> That'd be amazing. That'd be so good. And we could trade as well. We, we could trade, could. like, you know, if you don't want, a, like, a cat a pre, a cat a pee, whatever your name is, then I can have him. Making up Pokemon know? now, Squid. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> 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 you don't want a pre to cat? <laughs> I love you, pre to cat. It's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, dear well, me. Well, what, what's, like, your... When you think of your childhood and video games, what is, like, the game for you that you associate with childhood? Because mine probably is Pokemon. What, what What is it for for you? Have you ever heard of a game called um, Shenmue? Is that, like, a ninja game? So, it was... When I was growing up, I had a Dreamcast. Um, and Shenmue was a... It was on, like, three discs. Three or four discs. Um, but it was... But was, you played a guy... Oh, and I know. Yeah, and it was like in a really realistic world and you could like interact with loads of things. The graphics was pretty amazing for for like the for the time. Like it was it was pretty mind-blowing. But I played that quite a lot. But before that, I mean, I guess for me it was Pokémon. Like I did the exact same thing, you know, I completed all the games, I collected the Pokémon cards. That was pretty much my childhood. But, you know, after that it was, you know, stuff on the Dreamcast. So I played a lot of Shenmue. I played uh, Knights, which was a really cool game. Um and Digimon on the original PlayStation. I played a lot of Digimon games. So that that was sort of my, my childhood right there. Do you know they're making a Shenmue 3? 
Are they really? Yeah, they did a Kickstarter for it. It's like Sony and um, they did a Kickstarter. They're, they're making one for, for PlayStation 4. I mean, I mean, if anyone like goes back and has a look, like the game came out in like 1999. But if you look at like the screenshots from the game, it was... It was pretty mind blowing. Do you know what I mean? It was, it was really good for what what they did back then. So I think that was probably you know the reason why it captured my attention was you know the graphics were like oh so amazing. But uh, apart from that, then yeah, Pokemon probably in the same boat as you because we're roughly the same age. So you know we, our gaming taste isn't that far different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah. I, I realize we've been talking for a long time and we haven't had any tips so far, Squid. No. No tips whatsoever. So, did we have any pictures from the shaved goldfish? Any what? Fr- pictures from last week from the shaved goldfish? Well, what did you go for? You, it was your turn to go through the Facebook page. Did you? I saw some people tweet me um, a couple of pictures of shaved goldfish, which was pretty amazing. I saw some people <laughs> messaging looked- about doing their homework and then making videos. The thing was, though, is a lot of people where I hadn't seen their other video, so it was hard to tell if it was a different video <laughs> to what they normally do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, um, let's try and find a squiddy tip. So should we think about some new homework? I'm yeah, well, I guess, about- I guess we, we give homework at the, the end of the uh, the episode. But um, yeah, are there, are there any standout squiddy tips or would you like me to I mean, to I've got one, one which, which is actually pretty logical, which uh, a lot of people have. Oh, that just so won't do. A, that just will not do. From, <laughs> this is a question from Alberto. Okay. Okay. Uh, and he says, squiddy tip question. How do I get Siri out of my iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> Shake it really now, hard. See, Shake the phone. <laughs> go, go, go to your bathroom. Okay. Locate the toilet. And then drop your phone in, and then flush it, and then Siri will be. <laughs> well, no that, that would break. Think, no, let's not recommend people to I put their phone even in a, the toilet. Like an squid, option, just we? to turn it, turn it off, isn't there? Well, yeah, I'm sure you can. I mean, you can turn the voice stuff off, I guess. The annoying thing is when like but you're th- charging it, and you'll say like, um, "Hey, Billy," and it will think you go, "Oh, hey, Siri," and it'll start chatting to you. Like, no, I was, I wasn't trying to talk to you. <laughs> 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 oh man. So yeah, there's an option to turn it off. Don't flush your your phone down the toilet. But that was a pretty. A pretty boring one. Um, so oh. number one from Harry Bowen saying, um, "It's goodie tips. How do I put my clothes on without using my hands?" Well, this is pretty. This should, this should be a challenge. And how do you Maybe put you your do. hands on without using your clothes? That's the the big question. <laughs> are your hands detachable, stamps? Yes. <laughs> yes, they are. Wow. <laughs> do you have like a whisk for when you're cooking and like you yes. can just put like new attachments on all the time? Yeah, yeah. That'd be pretty good. Um, <laughs> Harry, my friend. My buddy, my pal. What you need to do, okay, is you need to locate your clothes. So if you want to put your trousers on, you need to then try and lay on the floor and put your feet inside your trousers and then pretend to be a snail um, and then just, like, slide in. And if that doesn't work, you can always go for, like, um, the, like, vibration technique. So you just vibrate your legs <laughs> and then put your legs in the air. I love what you say. Like, oh, just go for the tr- vibration technique. Like, everyone knows what you're on about. <laughs> <laughs> the old everyone vibration does. technique. Everyone knows what it is. And then you just shake like mad. And then <laughs> that's when your trousers become on. I'm, like, imagining it in my head as I'm doing it. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm trying not to. Now. The trousers I'm are not, on. Tr- I'm trying to not imagine you vibrating your trousers on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then while you're on the floor, okay, what you need to then do is, again, using your legs, you need to try and put both your legs inside where you put your head for the, the T-shirt. And, again, either one or two techniques, uh, either the snail or the vibration technique. Uh and then you should have a t-shirt and um, and thingy on. Yeah, your trousers on. So, snail or vibration. That's how we do this week's Squiddy Tips. And if anyone would like to do a video on this, then um, please send it to Stampy's Twitter. Because they'd love to see it. <laughs> uh, I'm fine, actually. I think I'm fine. Don't worry. Keep it to yourself, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so do you want a Stampy Tip? Because I've got one here. Yeah, if you've got, if you've got a good one, go for it. Okay, so Lauren Murphy says, Hey guys! Wait, it's a girl. Hey guys! What is quality? Wait a minute. Where is this? What is quality? Why is she screaming? I'm <laughs> automatically telling her. Okay. Never mind. I found it. Okay. I'm moving to college on August the 24th. Can I have advice for moving in? 
Uh, Squiddy can give his two cents in, by the way. Wait, what, what was well, the so question? Can you just say it in a normal voice? <laughs> okay, so she's basically moving to college, which I'm kind of guessing that um, college for Americans is kind of like you live in the same dorm or whatever. Um, we're, we're, so so col- yeah, college she's... in America is our university, UK university. Yeah, so I guess she's kind of, she's going or she's moving in. Um, like, what kind of advice do you give her for, like, settling into a, a new place? So, so I went to, to university, so I can give great advice for moving there. Apart from the fact I didn't actually move there. <laughs> so I, I like, because the university I wanted to go to was pretty close. So I just got the train in every, every morning. So I, I, I guess that there, there's kind of two parts. There's kind of the social side of this of, you know, you might suddenly have a roommate that you've never met and having to, to, to live with a you know a bunch of people that you haven't known before and then there's the whole you know there's the reason you're there you know the main reason you're there the the educational side you know kind of showing up to to your classes and stuff so like i i did uni to get educated okay so which might sound obvious but like there's a lot of people in you know, in my course and other courses that it was kind of just, they just felt it was the next step. Maybe they were pushed to do it or maybe they just kind of did it for the social fun side. Like there's a lot of people in my class that, you know, kind of said to me, you know, I have no interest in doing, you know, I was doing video production. You know, like I got no interest doing this as a career. I just thought it would be a fun thing to, to learn. And I think kind of very quickly working out who's in that boat and who is there to actually learn skills and making friends with the people that are there, you know, for a reason is a very important thing because making friendships is great. You know, the friends I've made at uni, you know, I'm still friends with now, you know, there's a good chance you might end up being friends with these people for the rest of your life. So, you know, you do want to to socialize while you're there, but in the long term, the, you know, not going to that party is going to be more valuable than, getting a better grade in your project because that's kind of the thing that's going to last with you for the rest of your life you know like I did school and I did college the grades I got on them don't matter as much like I wouldn't put them on my CV anymore because you know they seem like too long ago and irrelevant but your kind of your degrees that you get are kind of something you're always going to put on your CV so I think that learning to to prioritize when to have fun and when to you know when to to kind of put your head down and get some work done is is going to be probably the the most important thing so and i think that the work side gradually gets more and more important the later in the the years you're there because at first you know you're kind of getting introduced to everything you're kind of doing the topics but it's kind of generally a bit lighter but then the final few years is generally when you know you're going to work out which grade you're you're going to get so i think at first you know hang out with everyone get to know everyone you know hopefully get along with as many people as you can then when it comes to the final project find out the other people that really do just want to get the work done and like make them your friends because then you're really not compromising between like work and fun that's Good what stuff. I did. <laughs> 10 out of 10. That's, that's right. That's what Stampy did. So if you want to follow in Stamps' footsteps, then do what he said. And now um, I play video yeah. games. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's a win or a fail. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's about it for this week, mate. We've had a, we've had a good chat. You know? We sure have, Squid. We sure, we sure have. <laughs> <laughs> and even better footage, I hope. Did you get? Did you get any decent kills in the this battle mode? I I, I, I haven't been playing as well as I hoped. To be honest, I was hoping to really impress everyone with my skills, but I think I've been much more distracted uh, on what I'm what I'm saying. Let's say, well, let, let, let's not end yet. Let's finish this game. Then let's hopefully go out with a with a win from me. Just uh, just so okay. I can do everyone proud. Go for it. Go for it. That's you got the any uh, good stuff. That's the the plan. I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. I got like okay armor not the best i got food which is always like my priority and i got i got a sword so i'm not doing uh too bad food so... on this battle mode is lethal like i played a game earlier and i was you know and i, I got I killed armor, by a sandwich <laughs> food's <laughs> lethal <What>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was just hungry that was it i died from my hunger stamps terrible all it right. is awful. I so, well, what are your plans? Let's look to the the future for a little bit. Then, what are, what are your plans for for next week? What's coming up in the life of Squid Nugget? Um, more VR. I'm absolutely obsessed with VR at the moment. <laughs> like literally obsessed. Second channel hit four hundred thousand subs. 
No, uh, well, actually, my um, that's going pretty good. My my my, so my Stampy Long Nose channel, the one I've had for like ever, that just reached half a million last week uh, as nice. well, which is cool. Which is fun because it's that, like, you know, I've been doing that channel for over ten years now, but like it's, you know, it's, it's exciting to it's exciting to, to hear that. Line. I also just got um half a million followers on Twitter as well um last week, so it was a uh, oh, nice my my half a million week was was last week. <laughs> 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 What's next week then? What was What's next week? My what million week. I'm going. I'm going all out, <laughs> <laughs> doubling everything. <laughs> oh man. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm just going to carry on with the VR because that's what I love at the moment. I've realised there's there's a lack of like amazing VR stuff at the moment. Like there's loads of little niche games which are you know they're, they're all right to play. They're not really that polished. Um, but there's just a lack of like really good sort of VR games that I really want to just like do a series on. Every sort of game that I end up playing always lasts for like a video, and then that's it. You've kind of much, you know, you've kind of pretty much done it. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to have some some other games that come out that that are longer. Um, but yeah, yeah, so a lot you? of like experiences. Type, you know, this is the VR experience rather than here's a here's a game. But like, a do you game. think that like, you've played VR a lot more than me? Do you think you would be able to like sit down for three hours and like play through like a, a really story driven no. game, or is that just too much? Um, I, I'd be able to do it, but not in one go. Like I'd love to, do, I'd love to be able to do it. Um, you know, like over time. You know, maybe do like an hour, maybe get a couple of videos out, and then, you know, come back to it and pick it up again. But yeah, no, I definitely couldn't do like one sitting. It's just too much. Like it is literally just too much. You're standing. You you know you're moving about. Um, it's kind of a lot strain on your eyes. Um, so, like, the whole thing isn't that good for, like, long-term gaming. Like, I don't think it's a long-term option. And I don't think it will be for a while, just due to the fact that, you know, it requires so much more, uh, you know, energy and it requires so much more, like, strain on your eyes and, and stuff like that. So, you know, I think it should stick to what it's good at, like, really good sort of interactive games. But, you know, I don't really think there's that much of a... A future for it for a lot you know like really like long term sit down i'm gonna get into this sort of game do you know what i mean i think maybe when the um the the headsets get better then like there won't be that eye strain and you maybe won't get ill um is the future anyway sorry well, we... i saw i sorted the eye strain out that that was actually the problem with my eyes oh <laughs> <laughs> okay i guess we can't we can't blame the the headsets for that sorry it's been such a gaming week this week i actually did see a comment saying like Can you talk about something other than youtube and games we spoke about films as well we spoke about films for a bit this week but um yeah i mean uh, like if you want to go and hear like gardening tips then go to a gardener's podcast like we are gamers still so <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean that's kind of like just like we're kind of talking about in these podcasts kind of the stuff we'd end up talking about anyway so this is kind of the things that we're interested in so yeah hopefully at some point your interests are aligned with ours but as always uh, we urge you to to leave um uh comments on the the facebook page mainly also tweet us and youtube comments uh, if there is anything in particular wanted to talk about i did see a lot of comments talk asking us to talk about the the eu referendum i kind of just said that I think we'd like to stay away from politics <laughs> and I yeah. just feel like I've spent a, a whole week you know two weeks kind of just talking about that and hearing about that I kind of wanted a bit of a, a break from that and I kind of didn't want to talk about my opinions because yeah it's a dangerous thing to kind of get to political topics on YouTube so we're avoiding that hopefully this was a nice break from that <laughs> that conversation <laughs> uh, but yeah so uh, there'll be another podcast up next week uh, we won't be doing battle minigame next week we're going to be doing something else we'll probably be back in the um the, the standard podcast world kind of uh, carrying on I don't know I'll keep building my big tree I guess <laughs> <laughs> oh we're gonna miss it I'm gonna miss it we're gonna be like wandering around like next episode like uh, so what do we do then what should, what should we do what should we build <laughs> well I think it, I think it will make a better podcast I think we'll be able yeah. to to keep on track <laughs> more than you know Definitely. you need a lot of concentration to play a game like this and we we haven't been giving it a, a lot of concentration so yeah um there'll be a link in the description to the next episode like on everything there's kind of a playlist so if the the next uh, podcast is out you should be able to uh, hopefully just listen to it uh, immediately yeah but that's it from us guys this week hopefully you have enjoyed and we'll see you next week bye